stocks are bouncing strongly this morning as I speak to you right now. The Russell is up one and two thirds percent. The NASDAQ is up almost one and a third percent. The S&P up a percent and the Dow is up just short of a half a percent. Yields dropped early. We had yields basically flat. And then after the PMI numbers in the US, which all basically came in lower, we're talking US small to medium sized business activity expanding at the slowest rate in six months, that caused yields to drop across the board. The two year was down three basis points, the five year down two, the 10 year down four, and the 30 year down two as well with the two cents inversion going in the wrong direction. A Little bit different circumstances in the EU and in the UK, Germany, the EU and the UK all had lower manufacturing PMIs, but higher services PMIs and higher um, composite PMIs based off of that as well. So a little bit of a different story between those major economies that I just mentioned. Dollar is lower and that's helping commodities, mostly silver, gold and crude. Silver is basically up, gold is unchanged and crude is slightly higher as well as I speak to you right now. Copper, however, is still suffering on the back of those manufacturing figures that I mentioned. Copper is down a little bit over 1% as I speak to you right now. Now looking ahead, we get 69 billion worth of two-year notes auctioned off in the US today. Tomorrow we get a five-year note auction. Earnings after the market closes today, 39 companies with over 1 billion in market cap, including Tesla, which is the one everybody is talking about, but also Visa, Texas Instruments, Canadian National Railroad, uh, Seagate Technologies, Mattel and Baker Hughes. Before the market opens tomorrow, we get another 53 companies with market caps over a billion dollars reporting earnings, including Thermo Fisher Scientific, Boston Scientific, Humana, AT&T, Boeing, Old Dominion Freight, Norfolk Southern, General Dynamics, Hilton, and the CME Group. In terms of data, tomorrow German IFO business climate and Canadian retail sales, uh, along with the Bank of Canada meeting minutes from the last rate meeting and durable goods orders in the US. Tonight, we get Australian inflation figures.